Now the jet functions that we see here, for example this one to produce a, a table on the customer table, you don't have to type these in uh, longhand. What you can do is simply use the jet function wizards. So for example if I've got one already typed in, I can on the jet ribbon go to the jet function wizard for the correct function, the NL, and because I'm on that cell already, it will put its contents into the function wizard and break it down for me. So I'm doing a, a table, NL table, I'm talking to the customer table, I'm pulling through these three fields, and I'm filtering by balance with the criteria of not zero. So that can be useful as a way of editing an existing function, but you can also create functions this way from scratch. So if I do that from scratch now, simply select a cell where you want the functions to go and then click one of the function wizards so we have an nl function wizard an nf function wizard np and gl nl connects to a data source and has a number of keywords for the particular type of output that you want afterwards nfs are used in conjunction with nls to pull through specific columns that you wish to work with nps are usually helpful functions, perhaps involved in arrays or lookups. And GLs are your specific reporting tool to interrogate the chart of accounts. So if I do an NL function now, if I go to the NL function wizard, starts me off, what would I want to do? Well, what I want is, I want to do an NL table. So just choose, choose table. Which table I want to work against? Now I can type, but I can also select from the list and I've got every table listed here for me. If I start to type it'll narrow things down for me. Okay, till we get to customer table, double click to select that. And as you'll see it pulls values on the right hand side when they've been selected as a and accepted as a, a correct value. So we're doing an NL table from the customer table. The fields we want, if I leave this blank pull through everything. If I want to just select certain fields I can again use those braces, so the curly bracket, in quotation marks, and say, so, well, actually what I want is name, and I want number, and I want the location code. I want the warehouse that this company is actually served by. Now I'm typing this there in, inside the braces because I want to pull through three. If I didn't want three, just wanted perhaps one, I could have gone the drop down and chosen the, the individual field. If I left it blank, I would get all of the columns coming through. I can see it's accepted the value without any sort of obvious typos because it's popped across to the right hand side. If it hadn't come through, perhaps because I'd made a typo, like forgetting the final curly bracket, you see it hasn't come across the right hand side, so it's not accepted by entry. So if I complete what I should have entered, Give it a curly bracket to close the braces, tab to move on, and there it's accepted it's pulled across the right hand side. If I want to do a bit of filtering at the same time, I can do that. I can say, right, I just want the customers that have a figure in the field balance LCY that is perhaps I want to see this greater than zero. Okay. Say OK and I've got my result. So it completes the text for me. If I go to refresh, I've got my table that exists as a named range and I've got what I asked for, which are the customers that have got a balance greater than zero and the warehouse they're served by. Now on this, I can't see the field balance LCY, but it doesn't really matter. I'm using it to filter the background. If I wanted to update this, that'd be quite simple to do. So I go back to the jet ribbon, go into the design mode. If I click the function wizard again, I can edit that function. So rather than just having those three fields pulled through, what I can do is actually add in the filter field as well to make it display rather than just be a filter. So add a comma at the end and in quotation marks type in balance space LCY, close the bracket, close the quotes and make sure the curly quote is done. And now if we look on the right hand side to just widen things, it has taken that value in for me, so that's going to work. If I say OK, it's updated the formula at the top, and if I refresh, 
I've now got that fourth column visible showing me the actual balance of those customers. So the function wizard is there to make life simpler, either when you've already entered the function and you want to perhaps edit things, or to make it simpler to edit things as you go. And at each point you've got lookups where you can click and start typing and it will narrow down the values for you, for example, for the table.